Hi, I'm Daniel Fortney and I am the creator of FB Niche Finder and in this video I'm going to show you how you can save your results to either your clipboard or to a file. Um, if you want to save it to the clipboard, the default value is uh, to save to a clipboard. You don't have to do anything starting out uh, and I'll show you how to change that in a minute. Um, so I've already set up and selected some uh, uh, keywords that I placed in the in the uh, curated uh, table over here because that's what you're going to be saving. You're not going to be saving anything from either one of these unless you put the values over here. And I explain how to do that in a different video. So uh, go take a look at that. How about how to do that? Uh, once you have everything over here and you know it's going to go to the clipboard, you just click the word save. And that's all you have to do. Um, I'm going to open up a text file here. I'm going to paste what I just put into the clipboard. And as you can see, you can see all the results in there. Um, now, the only thing that's in here are the um, uh, actual keywords. And that's because the default is just saving the, um, the keywords themselves. So um, let's say we determine we want to save more than that. I'm going to go ahead and close this down. Uh, I can go over to Options here and then Save Results Parameters. And here's where I can change where I save my results. As you can see, it used to be clipboard. Now I'm going to save it to file. And I had used this file earlier, but essentially you go ahead and browse for it. And if it's not there, you type in the name and you say open. And now you define where your output's going to go to. Um, and as far as fields are concerned, there are actually six uh, uh, columns that you can save as fields. And as you can see, the only one that's checked is the result column. Um, but for the demonstration purposes, I'm going to select all of these columns. And I describe what these columns are in another video. Uh, so you can take a look at that. And um, uh, it puts the output out in a comma separated values file. And you can add some additional uh, uh, formatting to it as well, like putting comma at the end of the row. You can include a header row. And you can um, put quote marks around the fields. And which I'm going to select all this so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, and so as you can see, I've uh, selected everything. Oh, uh, when you uh, you can also uh, append to an end of a file. So if you have multiple sessions or uh, you want to clear out your curated table uh, and you've already saved it, you can clear this out and then you can uh, append it to the uh, other ones that you'd saved saved earlier. All right, so I'm going to say okay. And just like we did before, I hit click the Save button once I have the values I have in here. And now you're going to see that it went to a text file instead of to the clipboard. You say OK, and you're done. So let's take a look at that file. OK, I'm going to bring it up here. I cheated a little bit, had this preset up. Um, so here's the file here. And you can see there's a header file. There's quotes around each one of the uh, uh, fields. There's a comma at the end. And th this, these are the uh, values for the different fields. Um, um, and um, that's it. Thank you for watching.